Hi and welcome to our first edition of Tube Suits Expert Insights. Today we'll be covering safety testing for electrical products and how to future proof for the changes ahead following Brexit. With me today I have Alistair McLaughlin, a product safety specialist for electrical products at Tube Sued. So with Brexit being the hot topic, what changes can we expect to see? Okay. As far as testing is concerned, thankfully, there's not actually going to be an awful lot of changes. Uh, there's not going to be that much in the way of changes because the standards are going to stay the same. Because the UK, we're part of uh, some international certification scheme. So we're going to carry on using approximately the same standards. For certification by notified bodies, that's going to be a bit more complicated. Notified bodies, we're expecting those to change post-Brexit. We're actually putting together some workshops over the course of 2020, so if you come along to one of those workshops, we'll be able to give you up-to-date information exactly as the uh, scenario is changing. So you've touched on international schemes. Which schemes are we talking about? Yeah, the CB scheme, um, or as it's properly known, the IECEE certification body scheme for mutual recognition of test certificates for electric technical equipment and components, quite a mouthful. So we just call it the CB scheme most of the time. Uh, the point of it is that uh, there's many, many countries around the world, 54 participating countries, uh, including all of the European member states and China, USA, Canada, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and so on and so forth. They're all mutually agreeing to use the uh, IEC standards, the International Electrotechnical Commission standards, as the basis of their national national standards. There are 70 plus national certification bodies around the world which are authorised to do testing for the CB scheme and that includes Tuvsud internationally. And how would the CB scheme help people following Brexit? Mm, yes, well the CB scheme uh, means that uh, participating countries use the IEC standards as the basis of their national standards as I mentioned. So the UK and the EU standards are both based on the IEC standards. For example, IEC 62368-1 will be the basis of both BS 62368-1 and EN 62368-1. The idea there is that the CB scheme allows you to do one test and access many markets. And are these standards exactly the same? Mm, almost. The plan is for them to be seamless and in some cases they actually are but often countries have got special national conditions, little differences that apply between the IEC standard and their national standard. Uh, so that when you come to uh, a CB testing laboratory, uh, those will be applied for the markets that you're already planning to get into. So for example, we all disagree internationally on the best standard for plugs and sockets for domestic use. And that would be counted as a special national condition in each different version around the world of the IEC standard. So of course in Britain, it says that you you must use the British standard plug, the British standard socket. We can help our customers through these differences when we do testing and CB test labs are, are required to do that when we do testing for you. So what products are covered under the scheme? Mm. The uh, electrotechnical products and components, as I mentioned in that really long lengthy title there, it's a very broad range. but. For example, it covers office equipment, IT equipment, audio-visual equipment, laboratory, measurement, control equipment, batteries, household appliances, many, many others. Uh, really, it's everything that we test in, uh, in our labs here at Tuvsud. Thank you for sharing your insights with us today, Alistair. This will no doubt help you with an understanding of the root product compliance.